grams per centimeter cubed. The density of lead is about 11.4 grams per centimeter cubed. So based on this trend, what do you estimate the density of silicon to be? Um, so try to use the position uh, of each of those elements in, the, in their group and try to determine what would you estimate approximately the density of tin to be. Um, so take a second and do that and then we're going to start this experiment. Okay. So what we have here is a scale and then we've got some silicon right here. I don't know if you can read that or not, um, but it's labeled silicon. Can you read that? Yeah, let's go like that. Is that. That might be even tougher to read. Maybe if I got more on top of it. There we go. Silicon. Okay, um, and so then what we're going to do uh, is try to determine the density of silicon. So we're going to do that kind of the way that we've been doing it. Um, we're going to find the mass. We're going to uh, determine the volume using water displacement. And then you're going to calculate the density. Um, some water here. I'm just going to grab a little bit right here. Ooh. Comes out of those sinks fast. Okay, so I got some uh, water here. Uh, we'll use that in just a second. First thing I want to try to do is determine the mass of that silicon. Um, and so right now you see I've got a paper towel on there because you don't want to set this silicon just on the scale. Uh, it's never a good idea to do that with chemicals. You always want them in some sort of boat or paper towel or some sort of container to keep the, uh, uh, keep the element directly off the scale. Um, and so you can see right now the scale reads 1.04. So I'm just going to zero it. And so then that way the scale won't count the mass of the paper towel when I put the silicon on there. Silicon has a mass of 1.34 grams, so go ahead and write that down on your lab sheet. And the next thing we're going to do is try to determine uh, the volume of that silicon. So what we're going to do is water displacement. Oh, not great technique, Mr. Brunswold. Spilled some water. Okay, and so then right now this graduated cylinder is at 15.9 15 .9 milliliters. Oh, you can't even see the graduated cylinder here. Let me get that in frame. So that's like right here. And it should be at about 15.9 milliliters. It's pretty close to 16, but I think it dips under a little bit. So we'll say 15.9 milliliters. Okay, so now I'm going to take that silicon. I'm going to gently put it in the graduated cylinder. Oh. You want to do it gently so that it doesn't make too many bubbles. because That will affect your measurement. I'm getting it at 16, uh, is it 16 even or 16, or 17 even or 16.9? I think I'm gonna say 16.9 milliliters. Um, okay, so record that before and after volume on your uh, lab sheet. Then uh, use water displacement, so uh, figure out how much the water level rose by. That's gonna be the volume of your silicon and then use the mass and volume of the silicon to determine the density of silicon. Uh, then you can compare that value to your estimate. Um, and then tell me about some things that you learned in this lab.